Okay, so wanted to do this video because it's July 11th. It is the day before my 30th birthday. Uh, <clears throat> this is really just a reflection of um, <clears throat> of the decade of my life that was my 20s. It's only fitting that I uh, take care of this and talk about it on the last full day of my 20s. So, <clears throat> tomorrow is obviously a very, very big day for me, and um, <clears throat> if I sound like shit, it's because I've got a cold. You know, all the things that have gone wrong this year, this tops them. Getting sick right before the biggest birthday of my life. But I guess I deserved it because I've done a lot of wrong this year. I've done people wrong. And this is what I get. Anyway, I won't go into that any further. What's up, Allie? Yeah, what's up? She's like, what'd you do? What is that? I see a dog. No, but, um... No, it's just generally what it is. I'm going to go down a list of the things I've learned since I turned 20. And um, rightfully so. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's not in order, so don't bitch about it. Um... I need to get this one out of the way because it is pretty embarrassing. Um, and it is, uh, don't, when, let me tell you something. I've been in a couple situations where, you know, I've met a cute girl and you know, we start getting along, and then, next thing I know, I find out, she's a lesbian. It's like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? So automatically, I would think, okay, well, she's not into guys, so, it, whatever. I can still be friends with her. And so, naturally, I'd be like, okay, that's one less girl I have to worry about. However, there have been a couple of cases where uh, my feelings for said girls would persist because that's how that's how much of a one track mind I've got. You could say, "Oh, it's probably because you watch lesbian porn and you get turned on by that," so you know you had this fantasy of turning a lesbian. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. No, but this is a... Whether you watch lesbian porn or not, this is a thing with straight guys, like myself. We meet girls who turn out to be lesbians. You know, we call it the Chasing Amy effect. You know, because that movie... It was about a guy who falls in love with a lesbian and, well, eventually sleeps with her. But, no, that shit can't happen in real life. So, getting to the point, what I learned about that was, you know, don't do it. If a girl tells you she's a lesbian... Back the fuck off. 
and tell your boner to go fuck itself. Because in the end, it is all about uh, your desire to turn her. Because, you know, you might be acting all nice and, oh, yeah, no, I respect lesbians. I, yeah, it's cool. We can be friends. But no, in your mind, you're really thinking, yeah, I want to fuck her. I want to turn her. That's But I've had to learn. Can't do that shit. Just can't. You know. The lesbian friends I have, I sincerely apologize. If I've ever made it seem like I was hitting on you, flirt, you're just being a general creep. I'm sorry. Because I know you don't like the dick. But I just, I wanted to get that out of the way. Something I've learned. It took me to my late 20s to learn that one, so... Moving on, um, next thing is, you know, like for me, being a 20-something in the workplace, um, when you're around a bunch of, uh, bunch of teenagers, a bunch of kids, I've had to learn that you can't get sucked into their high school drama. You just can't. People can have enemies no matter what their age. But you can't get yourself suckered into the high school drama bullshit that's happening in the workplace. You can't do it. You just can't. Because I've I've had several jobs where I was generally six, eight, ten years older than some of my coworkers. And they'd gossip, they'd fight, and somehow I'd get dragged into it because I'm just trying to fit in. But I'm really just the creepy older guy. Thankfully, where I work now, that teenage drama doesn't exist. Or not so much anymore, since certain people have been let go. But, uh, you know, this is something that especially cannot continue into my 30s. You know, I gotta start playing with the grown-ups. I gotta start associating with the adults. Because I'm an adult. I'm going to be 30. You know? I, I can't mix myself up in late teens, early 20-somethings drama. I can't do it. It's just, it's not right. So, uh, Next thing, um, yeah, this I, I've had to learn through my 20s that life isn't fucking fair. <coughs> Hell, I thought that by 22, 23 years old, I'd be married, I would have a great job, and I would be on my own, at least by 22 or 23. I'm a day from 30, still single, still living at home. And a low-wage job. Now, I attempted several times throughout this decade to go back to school. And even when I had the money, something always derailed it. But the more that I really think about 
doing the school thing, the more that I see that these career training schools are just massive, massive scams. That's something else that I've had to learn. I mean, yeah, if you, if you go to a tech school that's part of the county school system, that's a little more legitimate. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, and you actually have a better chance of earning a, a degree, a certificate. And it's a chance for you to maybe, possibly, transfer to a real university. But, um, if I, if I ever do try to go back to school, it's not going to be for a while. You know, I have to think about my immediate future, not the far future. <laughs> that's that's one thing I've been too obsessed with is focusing on the far future. When I really just need to take it slow. I mean... It's been this decade has been hell my weight has fluctuated went from being really fat to being really skinny to being really fat again you can't tell but I've gained almost all the weight back that I lost when I was 22 you know I'm going to buckle down and be serious about a gym membership. I know I've been saying that for five years, but I think it's time now. Now that I'm going to be 30, I think it's time. Because my metabolism is not what it used to be. And, you know, it's, it's just life. Life sucks, but, you know, we have to deal with it. We just have to. I mean, what else is there? 